So now in this video we're going to look at the trim pot component. We're going to look at this drawing I did a long time ago first. And so ultimately the trim pot is a variable resistor and you can use it exactly as a variable resistor. Depending on where you turn the dial determines the resistance within the component within its rated limit. So I usually use a 10 kilo ohm trim pot but there's all kinds of uh, values out there. Now. You can tie both ends of the resistive element together and make a voltage divider like you see here. So we'll come back to that. But in any case, here you can see this is what the uh, trim pots I used to use look like. They had three uh, rather large pins like that. And then so the two on one side, there's a resistive element that ran across underneath. And then there's a dial with the wiper that slided across there and it connected electrically to a pin right there and you could put a load so there's the uh, wiper right there and so if you turn the dial all the way to the uh, top right there if it's facing that direction and the power supply is there there'll be zero ohms of resistance from there to the uh, wiper right there and the load will see uh, the direct uh, power supply so you'd still want a current limiting resistor but you could turn the dial all the way to here you'd have the full resistance, halfway you'd have half the resistance and whatnot. So the farther you are from the uh, supply voltage there, the more resistance you'll have in between based on its rated value. Again, I usually use 10 kilo ohms. They are not, uh, from what I see, uh, very accurate though. They're, they're off, like uh, I think a couple hundred ohms usually. And so don't uh, try to get precision resistance from one end to the other. Maybe some are more accurate than what I got. But in any case, here you can see a, a second setup for basically the same thing. The, the thing is though, now I have a jumper from the end of the resistive element to the wiper. And the point of that is, so we got the resistance coming through. If we set it halfway, there you can see we got half the resistance. It ignores this right here, because uh, we got current being pushed from there and pulled from there. So it goes there, it doesn't care about this. But let's say the wiper goes bad, it breaks or something, stops working, that resistive element should still be intact right there. And then so if you're turning the dial, but you have the full resistance of the trim pot, that's an indication that it's a bad trim pot. Just put in a new one, you'll probably be fine. If you just notice you have that full resistance at all time. So now we come to the voltage divider. So we put both ends of the resistive element to the power supply right there. And we did voltage dividers before. So you can imagine with the uh, wiper at the halfway point, like you see there, we have 5,000 ohms of resistance headed that way, 5,000 ohms of resistance headed that way. So it's two equal value fixed resistors basically. And uh, you tap into the middle of two equal value fixed resistors, you get half the power supply voltage. So what's really cool though, you don't have to stay halfway. You can turn all the way up. Then you'll be directly to the positive supply. And if it's five volts, you'll have five volts. Or you can turn it all the way down to the uh, negative supply, which you consider zero volts. And uh, no matter what the supply voltage is, usually that's zero volts. You can see that's both sides there. It's a direct connection from ground on both sides. Any current that goes through the resistor will just go to ground, ignore the load, you have zero volts you can dial it to any voltage in between those two points that you want. There is one catch, and uh, this is the reason why I'm gonna be using the uh, trim pot voltage divider, starting with my 555 timer series. So I got 555 timer videos coming up because they just look at the voltage, their input pins. That's a lot of integrated circuits and uh, other amplifiers. And so you just tell whatever you're sending the signal to, the voltage and it responds to that voltage. It doesn't need to pump current. Pump in current, you can see that we basically have a resistance here. If current's flowing through there, that takes away a voltage from there. The voltage actually drops and uh, so it throws it off. But if you just have a input pin that looks at voltage, these trim pots work great. So you're gonna see me use them a lot with uh, integrated circuits and also amplifiers, not so much powering anything directly. And so now we're gonna quickly take some measurements. So I uh, put this together, I had these alligator clips, I can just clip them to the probe, I crimped them to the other side of the uh, jumper there. So 
that uh, I can just plug them into the board wherever I want to take uh, measurements. So I did the same with the black uh, uh, probe there. And so this trim pot I'm using, I don't use that other kind anymore, just has three little metal pins in there. So it fits in the board really nicely. And it uh, seems like it's more reliable than uh, the other ones I had. So there you can see we're going from one end, the top there, to the middle. The middle is connected to the wiper. So you can either put it this way or have it so the arrow is facing that way if you have it halfway. It does not spin all the way. It will stop up there or stop down there. It doesn't matter uh, which way you put it however you want the arrow as long as you wire the power to it. You don't wire power though when you measure resistance. So we go to the uh, resistance setting right there and you can see about halfway we're about five kilo ohms right there. So there's kilo ohm at the top there. As I said before, this is rated for 10 kilo ohms, but it's probably going to be off a bit. And there you can see uh, it's about 9,600, it looks like, to be more accurate. And this is an auto ranging meter. If you have a meter that uh, has numbers on it, set it above uh, 10,000 if it's a 10 kilo ohm trim pot that you're using. And uh, there we go. We can go down and go down to zero ohms of resistance. So it's not going to quite hit zero. There's a little bit of uh, resistance just where the connectors are and stuff. Now we can uh, look at the full resistance. As I said before, sometimes you jump the uh, wiper to right there and if something goes bad with the wiper you'll end up with the situation that you see here. I turn the trim pot and the resistance is not changing right there. We're at both ends and uh, now I'll move this uh, red one over. Polarity doesn't matter, we're just measuring resistance. The meter puts current through it and uh, the resistance doesn't care which direction the current's going it behaves the same. But now I have to turn the wiper up there to get the full resistance. That's uh, the main thing. So that's one way you can change which direction you turn the trim pot to get the resistance that you want. Pretty straightforward. So now we're going to move on to voltage dividers. And so here we have it wired as a voltage divider. We got the uh, top pin to one side of the power supply, the bottom pin to the other side, and the middle pin in the middle right there. We are going to set the meter to measure voltage, which is pretty safe for the most part. Just have to turn the dial to measure voltage right there. And again, these jumpers are to the end of the probes. So we'll just quickly go there. So that one goes to ground. And uh, so ground's on the bottom side of the trim pot. I have the arrow facing to the right this time, but it uh, still works basically the same. So we plug that uh, right there. And so I have the power supply set to 5 volts right now. And we're about halfway. We have about 2.5 volts approximately. And so we can dial it up. So if I turn it up now, that's getting closer to where that orange jumper is connected electrically right there from the positive supply, we can go up to five volts right there. It's a little bit shy because there's some resistance in the wires and stuff. There's voltage divider effects in other parts of the circuit, but uh, they're much less uh, impactful than the trim pot itself. There we go to the uh, bottom. We are to the negative rail. We have zero volts exactly right there. So that's the main thing. We can dial it to the voltage we want. Again, a load that needs current is going to throw that off. Less current is going to throw it off less than more current, but uh, that's something to be aware of. But uh, for the most part, very useful component. You're going to see it a lot. And uh, let's turn the uh, multimeter off. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put a link down in the description. That will help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.